three, four. Okay. I, okay. Hello. Hi. I hey, would hey. like, I would like to introduce, uh, this is Mari Hamada and her, she, her works are part of this beautiful exhibition at the Gallery of Contemporary Mosaics, Chicago. Mari, thank you for speaking uh, with us today about your works in your show. It's an uh, honor to have you part of this exhibition. Uh, thank you very much for giving us this very precious opportunity. Um, <laughs> And I feel very honored to be part of this uh, exhibition with other uh, mosaic artists of Japan. Thank you so much. We are, are speaking the same language of mosaic and it's beautiful to see your work in this show. I have a few questions um, mm -hmm. and First, uh, where do you live exactly? And how did you discover Mosaic? Okay, so uh, I'm living in Tokyo and I'm living in the Eastern part of Tokyo and I live just by uh, Tokyo Bay. Yeah, I like that place, yes. <laughs> and uh, when I was a child, uh, I like uh, drawing pictures and my dream was becoming a painter. But uh, when I became an adult, I followed uh, the, I, I didn't follow the uh, path to the art field. And since then I had been always wanted to do uh, some artistic creation and I had been looking for the art medium, uh, which I want to do. But um, about uh, 12 years ago from now, uh, one day I just uh, searched internet to find what kind of art I should do. And then uh, my eyes just stopped when I saw uh, one mosaic work. And I was very impressed with the feeling of that massiveness and texture and uh, hardness and softness and the irregularities of uh, pieces. And also the shades made by each uh, piece. And I thought, uh, those things are not made, uh, cannot be made by uh, the normal paintings. And at that moment, I thought, this is the thing I should do. And so uh, right uh, after that, uh, very lucky, I found the mosaic ex exhibition was uh, being held. And I went to the uh, Mosaic ex Exhibition and that was held by Mosaic Art Association Japan. And then um, I met um, uh, Ki Sensei and other uh, Mosaic artists and Mosaic making people and also uh, the organization uh, Mosaic Art Association Japan. And I think uh, that was really amazing. And that was my life changing event for me. Yeah, it, I think I was so lucky. And after that, uh, I was blessed with the opportunities uh, to go to um, a mosaic class by uh, Key Sensei. Yeah, and uh, class was very, I mean, always 
we had really good time with him. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you know that. Yes. yes. We we um we love him as an instructor uh, at the Chicago Mosaic School, uh, and we have a very good time. Uh, yes. With, with his good time. Time. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, we love his humor. Yes. And yes, he is always uh, saying jokes. Ah, uh, this, uh, is, <laughs> this is good to know. <laughs> <laughs> you know that <laughs> yeah but yes. we admire him yes yes his uh his work is is very beautiful and uh is also part of of this exhibition mm -hmm. uh, as well as your two pieces that i would like you to speak about each one of those those works if you don't mind Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Uh, so first, uh, I talk about the work titled Aquamarine Flex. And by taking full advantage of the gentle and graceful atmosphere of the mobile surface, and also the beautiful and delicate colors of its melody, I wanted to express the air a gas or liquid uh, moving and swirling very slowly, just like all things in this world, flex. Mm -hmm. And also wanted to express that the past memory a person holds is leading to the present life and then to the future. And they are all connected and related to each other. So I wanted to express the moment uh, when a person stops one day in the life and look back the past and think about the present time and the future. Mm. Mm -hmm. This is uh, quite the right moment to be seeing this work. Yes. <laughs> right moment. Yes, thank you. Yes. Yeah. Uh, we've all um, almost stood still for a year. We've mm. been very quiet and moving quite slowly. Mm. But we are changing so much and we are, have time to reflect and look back and look forward mm -hmm. at the same time. Mm. I and see. So much movement in this work. Oh, really? Mm. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yes. And so, then the the these the next piece. Mm -hmm. I see. Uh, so as for my second work, uh, Orchid, uh, I try to express exotic and alluring and vivid atmosphere of orchids. Mm. Uh, because usually I like uh, orchids very much my favorite flower among <laughs> flowers. Oh, yes. Oh, that, that flower, uh, orchid is nice too. <laughs> I love that. Yes. And I like orchids very much because uh, they are very mysterious. And also uh, I wanted to express the beautiful wildness of orchids uh, with the low surface of marble and it was a little bit uh, difficult for me to combine purple and orange colors and make balance between them. Mm -hmm. So uh, I bought lots of Zumaruti and <laughs> spent lots of time repeating trial and error. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I put some pieces, but I thought the color is, was different. So I took off the Zmalti and so on. Yes. It's a very ambitious work. It's very, I think, a very large piece. Mm -hmm. ah, thank you very much. Mm, thank you. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, uh, I think I did the best as much <laughs> as I could. 
at that time. <laughs> yes, I think. Thank you very much. <laughs> thank you. So, yeah. Mari, if someone were to ask you, how do you describe your work or the way that you work in mm -hmm. Mosaic? What mm -hmm. would you tell them? Oh, okay. So, um, I mean, uh, it's not the right answer to your question, but uh, maybe uh, can I say which part I like about mosaic first? So, yeah. Roughly speaking, I like uh, two aspects of mosaics. And the first thing is that it is just like the co-creation uh, by uh, materials themselves and by myself. So it means I'm not making my work by myself. And always the materials are doing great support for my creation. And so I feel the materials are so powerful. And I feel uh, it is very interesting to make the most uh, of the beauty and features of various materials and make them the effect of the work. And mainly I like marble, stone, and glass. And especially in recent years, I like transparent colors, colored glasses, uh, just like I used for this uh, work I uh, made. Mm -hmm. And um, so it is so much fun to look for the appropriate materials for the work which I want to make before I start making. And uh, I feel very comfortable and happy handle with them uh, while I'm making mosaics. So uh, for in future, also, I want to try to extract beauty of the materials themselves at first. And then I want to try to put what I want to make on them. Mm. Yeah. And uh, also, uh, mm, the second thing is that uh, it, the mosaic making is takes a lot of time. And uh, I think this uh, slow pace is telling me like, uh, take your time and relax. And uh, you don't have to be in a hurry and take enough time as much as you like. And it makes me very relaxed, calm and focused on the creation. And during this slow passing time, I can do some experiments and I can think about the things like what I want to express with mosaics and where I came from and where I'm going with art and whether I'm going to the right direction or not as an art creator. So the mosaic for me, uh, the mosaic is the thing which gives uh, such kind of time and makes me very happy. And so in future, I'll do the same. And I'm very thankful for the mosaics. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. These, these are very beautiful words that you are telling us about uh, mosaic and the passion for this way of creating things mm. it is it is so much about time it is yes <laughs> yes <laughs> so much time yes yeah. so but uh, so yeah i like that yes because uh, it takes so much time so it means i don't have to see the result uh very at very early timing, I can wait because it's kind of scary for me to the result of my work. So 
uh, I, I can wait for the time it's when it's completed. So it's so nice for me. <laughs> Do you feel the other artists that work in Mosaic in Japan feel similar to you? Mm -hmm. uh, the way of uh, making creation? Yeah. Uh, making yeah. a mosaic? Mm, uh, I don't know because uh, I talk about a lot uh, about uh, other Japanese mosaic artists about mosaics, but uh, I have not talked with them about the, you know, uh, what's going on in our uh, hearts, I mean, inside of ourselves. So mm -hmm. I don't know very much about that. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Mm -hmm. I think uh, many, many mosaic artists I know are talk very much about the process, mm -hmm. the process and the materials. Mm -hmm. It's a language and then the message is very personal. Mm -hmm. so, uh, my message. Yes. Mm, yeah. I, yeah. <laughs> yes. I, my message. Yes. So I was talking what I'm thinking in myself. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. But so I think Ms. Mosaic makes my life very rich and happy, always. Yes. Well, Mari, thank you very much for sharing your work and your words uh, with everyone today. And oh, thank we, you so much. We, uh, we look forward to seeing more of your work in the future. Yes, yes, I, yeah, I, I want to be speed up. I want to speed. Yes, more speed I need. So <laughs> not too fast. <laughs> not too fast. Yes. <laughs> yes. Slowly, but the first uh, sp uh, a little speed up. Yes. <laughs> Thank okay. you so much for um, shake, taking time with me today. Thank you so much. It's just very nice. Uh, to talk with you today. I feel very honored. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.